what this chapter is going to cover is what a physical standby actually is. Okay, you may think that's pretty basic. For some of you it will be, for some of you it may be a bit new. DataGuard is bundled with Enterprise Edition. In Standard Edition, you can use what we call the Manual Standby Database, which I first configured all oh, way back in Release 7, Manual Standby Databases. The DataGuard gives you significant advantages over the Standard Edition Manual Standby, in particular the automation and the zero data loss, but we're 100% in Enterprise Edition with this chapter here. So, we'll see what a physical standby is, and then run through a few basic prereqs. That's a very short description of the prerequisites. We assume, when people are attending this course, that you are already DBAs, you know, that we don't have to talk about things like kernel parameters and patch sets and so on. You know, we assume that we can install the Oracle Home and create a database. After that, Oracle Net, or SQL Net, as people as old as me tend to call it. SQL Net underpins the flow of information between the databases in a data guard configuration. You must have a rock solid understanding of how to configure SQL Net, possibly greater than you need in your day to day work without using data guard. So that's the prerequisites. Then we go on to preparing the primary instance and the database. Now, for the demonstrations I'm going to run through today, I'm going to do it all on one machine. I've got this machine created here, and it's just a cloud server, one of many cloud servers that we use. And on this database right now, on this server right now, I'll fire up one database, which is just a simple standalone database, not even in archive log mode and I'll set up a physical standby on the same machine. In the production environments, in many cases, your physical standbys will be on different machines. But for demonstration purposes, that isn't relevant. Even if your standby is on the same machine as the production, as the primary, the communications are still through SQLnet. So we'll go through the preparatory steps, preparing the primary instance and database. Then we'll create the standby instance and the standby database itself. After that, we start the propagation of redo, the propagation of change vectors from primary to standby, and demonstrate that it is actually working. So that's our agenda for today.